I ran over to Food Lion to get all of my fresh produce ingredients. A special thank you to Food Lion for sponsoring today's keto ice cream ingredients with their fresh, amazing produce and fresh ingredients. I ran to their store to start getting all of our supplies needed in the blog post and description link below with the ingredients. But wait, before you do even do that, you need to go get a ice cream maker. I have one that I actually got on sale that I'll put in link down below. It was relatively inexpensive, but you have to freeze it for 24 hours prior to doing this recipe. I will link the recipe down below to make this super simple for you. It's literally four ingredients. That's it, four simple ingredients. You need your keto sweetener. You're gonna need some coconut milk. You're also gonna need some salt. You're gonna need some vanilla. And I also have some nuances. So what I first did is I got my coconut milk. I did have three cups of the coconut milk that I got from my Food Lion quick haul. By the way, this is the, have I told you that this is the best, easiest recipe you'll ever make? So literally just take your coconut milk, dump it into a big bowl, whisk it together. It is supposed to come out clumpy like that. It's totally normal. Just whisk it together. And then you're going to go ahead and put in your sugar, your keto sweetener sugar. You're also going to go ahead and put in your vanilla and you're gonna go ahead and put in some salt. Mix those all together in your ingredients, and then after you mix them all together, you're gonna put them in the refrigerator for at least four hours. I tried to skip that part, it didn't work out so well for me. I actually ended up putting it overnight and I would highly recommend mixing all of your ingredients together and then putting it into your refrigerator overnight. Again, I have the exact quantities down below listed in the description. You can go ahead and check those out. But with Food Line, super, super simple with our fresh ingredients to make this, recipe very easy. One tip that I did learn is that making sure that the granule sugars, I did taste that at the end when with the final product. Um, I would maybe melt that a little bit. Um, you could put it over like a hot stove and put it with a little bit to make the granulars blend in a little bit easier if you had a higher temperature and then cooled it down. I learned that after the fact. So here's the vanilla, there's that amazing salt, mix it all together, again, put it in your refrigerator overnight, um, <laughs> fares better. Now that I have had that frozen component for my Cuisinart ice maker, or for my Cuisinart ice cream maker, I literally then put in the frozen component of it, put in all of your ingredients, and then go ahead and put the top on, with this one, it's literally the one button push Cuisinart that I used, which it literally was just one button. You plug it in and then push the button. How simple is that? And then it takes 20 minutes for it to go mix all together and then you're done. Now here's the really cool part about this keto ice cream recipe and low carb ice cream recipe. If you want a keto sweet, you could make chocolate ice cream out of this. You could make uh, coconut ice cream. You could make a keto some more ice cream. Look how thick that is, by the way. Hello. I did find out I had to eat it pretty quickly. This also could be, hello, a plant-based ice cream recipe too, not just a keto recipe because of the delicious coconut milk included with it. But oh my word, so low carb. The ingredients are super, super clean. Now, am I gonna eat this every night? Hex no, but it is a wonderful ice cream treat and so fresh. You can get, by the way, keto um, sprinkles. There is such a thing. Yes, there is such a thing, but you could put keto chocolate chips. I showed you guys that you can get like Lily's chocolate chips that are keto approved in there. There's so many amazing things to make it really easy keto. And again, a special thank you to Food Lion. Go to the description link below to get all of your shopping. Here's my bloopers. I literally could not get this out. And then I dropped the lid and do it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the laugh as much as I did. I was like, mm, professional cooker right there. Have a great day, friends. Bye.